everybody. This is Bennett Brothers, Bennett Brothers Shop, Parker and Gary Bennett, Tractor Whisperer. We are today, we're excited. We're going to install our bell housing adapter from our 5.9 uh, 450 engine uh, to the 5R110 automatic transmission. So look forward to getting that done. We've got a couple of things that we're going to do here, and we'll show you that as well for clearance. All right, everybody, we've done a dry fit for our uh, bell housing, our motor adapter to fit our bell housing. It, it fits no problem, flush. The only problem we have, this is where the 6.4 starter is used to engage the flex plate to start the motor. And to clock the starter properly, there's an ear right here where I've got this paint line. I'm gonna have to cut that ear off. Some, this ear right here, some Cummins engines have a little block right here on them as well. You have to cut part of that off. But, but this being the industrial uh, fire pump engine, for some reason it doesn't have that, which is good. That's just less for us to do. So we're gonna make this cut. We'll put the bell housing plate back on there. We'll take our starter and make sure that it will index into position properly. All right, we're gonna make this cut. We, we have no fear. I don't have to do anything to this one, but this one right here, I'm gonna take it off like a, an imaginary radius and I can see where the old bell housing is touched. So I'm gonna take it off right to there and see if that'll do the trick about it clocking. I don't think this is gonna be a hard task, but you never know. So here we go. These two pieces right here, these are sleeves around the bolt holes, and they're machined in this plate to line you up perfectly. So we'll make sure that we're in business here. And I'm just, these are not the, these are the original bolts. The cover comes with a bolts, with new bolts. I must not be up right. I thought it was. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I'll be surprised if it don't. This come off of our donor truck of the truck, the 6.4 starter. Close. Try it again. All right, let me take a look. It likes a little. Yeah, it ain't quite turned down, I don't think. Oh, it ain't hidden down there. Huh? It didn't? Uh-uh. Well. Okay. It's possible. Is it hitting right here? Right here. See this little spot where the paint's chipped? Right there. Our starter is actually hitting that. It, it has to rotate a little bit. And it just a little bit of resistance right there keeps us, and we don't want to have any problem with the starter about taking it on and off. So I'm fixing a clearance set right now. See where it's at. <laughs> Bye. 
Good. Oh, yeah, it started right there. Yeah, no problem. Let's look at it again. It's actually, if you look in here, you can't see it. But actually, see this little nub right here? Yeah. That's what we're feeling. It hit right here. It hits right here. It hits right here. Oh, I got you. That's what we're feeling. Yeah. So it's good. All right, that's got our plate and our starter clearance. That's a one hurdle jumped over. The adapter actually come with the starter bolts. So there they are. All right, now you need to. We need to clean this all up right here. Yeah. plate the back of the motor so our bell housing aluminum plate makes good ground because that's of course the starter the high current deal and I surely didn't want paint something as simple as paint stopping us from getting the good ground there I'm gonna hit that another leg okay we're gonna put our plate on and bolts are supplied with the plate. We've taken time to make sure that the bolts would screw in far enough to tighten up on this cover plate. I measured the plate as, as 486 thousandths of an inch thick right here, so half an inch. And that will go in to uh, about 400 thousandths. So it definitely is gonna work. That's our shortest bolt we have. And we're going to lock tight each one of these bolts. Blue lock tight. Medium grip. Okay. Start it right there. I got enough this one. We got all this stuff from Diesel Conversion Specialist, and uh, everything we've gotten so far has been very, they've, they got a lot of the head scratching out of it for you, wouldn't you say? Oh, I definitely would, yes. The instructions too are straightforward, nice. they're nice. And not just instruction, there's images there as well. So. We're talking this to 44 foot pounds. And that's where we are? Yep. Parker and I both like to run back over all of our bolts. Make sure. That's it. There you go. Very cool. Okay, we got two bolts in. We put our flex plate on. It fit on there. Of course, it should fit snug on the back of the crankshaft housing. We put these two bolts in dry. 
Just easily pulled it up. And now we're gonna get the rest of these in. We'll put our Loctite on them. We'll spin them up. And then we'll come back and we'll torque them all. We'll take out the first two we put in first and we will we'll put Loctite on it, this one and this one. We've already taken this flex plate and we've gone to our, our truck, our 450, and we've actually ensured that this flex plate fits our torque converter with no problem. And it, it did, absolutely did, fit fine. Put a Loctite on. Lush. It's pretty. One step closer. How are you? I'll get you how the boat started now. Yeah, that's cool. Cause that's exactly what that, that's for the flex plate bolts, that hole. We're going to be glad that hole there. That notch in the back of the flywheel and at the, the bottom, tighten your flex plate up. That hole right there. Here. Uh, yeah. Get your other one going and run it up that. This thing, this ratchet don't work hardly. It's... Yeah, it doesn't need to water a new head. Yeah. Go ahead and snug out one too. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Let me tighten that one. Ready. It's that torque wrench bolt. The socket's on the torque wrench right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Where's it at? I put it, there it is. Of course, it don't need to be 100 pounds. <laughs> no. Okay. That's good. All right. Starter. Starter's installed. Had a good day today. We got our bell housing adapter installed. And we'll show you in the video. We had a couple things you have to do to make clearance for the starter on the block. We got that done. Starter's installed, no problem. It's a piece of cake. Uh, we got our flex plate. We actually took it out to our truck and made sure it fit the torque converter correctly. And also this snoop where the torque converter made sure it slide up on there. We got that confirmed. We come back. We We'd already torqued our bell housing plate down. We come back and install the bolts. All these bolts are locked tighted in and torqued to spec. So it's exciting because you can see it can actually bolt in the truck now. The only thing we had to put on is our motor support. We got a couple of little things left to do. We actually hung our turbo on it. Looked cool on there. So uh, we're getting there. It's a uh, good day. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and like and share with anyone that's interested in doing this. We're not far off from plugging this bad boy in that Ford and getting it running. So good deal. Thank you. Mm -hmm.